Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we've got a uh, another Sunbeam Mix Master that we're restoring. This is a Model 12, and uh, you can tell this is the turquoise model. Unfortunately, the handle did not survive shipping here, so I think um, I, yeah, it's definitely broken off. I mean, the the, the parts that they normally attach to here are still attached to that. So, anyways, we're redoing this, and the color that we're using is a seafoam green. That's what this color is called. And it's a really nice color. I mean, it's a little bit darker. I think it actually shows up a little lighter once it's applied than on this color sample here, but it's actually a little bit darker than this here. Um, but you can see the, the finish on this thing is just in terrible shape, and a lot of times, you know, I will suggest to people if they've got the if they've got any of the colored mix masters being that they're so desirable um, you know I, I'll try to I'll try to recommend to, to just consider and keep the original finish even if it's got some issues but this one right here has just got a, a lot of issues I mean you know the paint is coming off there here all under here all around the the base here and the turntable's got some rust on it so uh, you know I mean this one is actually in pretty rough shape finish wise you know and it's all like bubbled and checked and everything else so but here or there, there uh, this one's gonna look really good when it's done we're gonna go through and uh, turn it on now I haven't run this yet so I do see it looks like a bunch of cobwebs and stuff down there so this has probably been sitting for a long time so, not really sure what to expect. Let's go ahead and turn on and see. Alright, so it, it does run. I mean, it doesn't sound great, but it does run, so that's a bonus there. And you, I almost kind of expect it with these old sunbeams. It's like, you know, they still even want to run even if they get all seized up. No idea what the brushes look like because that one stayed inside. Maybe we'll get a little part spin and I'll be right back. Alright. Some part spin here that we'll throw all these little parts into. Let's take a look at the brush here. Hopefully this one will come out. Nope, okay. Both brushes are stuck inside, so I have no idea if they're good or bad. So, that will be kind of a surprise when we get to it. Get a little cap off the back. Yeah, I don't really know the story behind this one. I think I think I have a message, you know, that there's my son out, but I can't recall. Um, yeah, this has got quite a bit of quite a bit of flour buildup in there, so this thing was definitely used, which is, you know, what what it was designed for. you guys can see in there. I'll take this resistor out and then we're going to give it the, the old test here. Let's get some bare metal showing on here. Just scraping some of this corrosion off of the uh, off the brass on here to expose some fresh brass. Just so we can get a good contact when we test it, because it, it, we won't be able to test it well through that corrosion, because it just won't it won't make contact. And yep, you guys can see the meter. Make sure it works.
No, it's right around 180, so the resistor is good on this one. So that I am happy to see. I don't see that too often anymore. Um, a lot of times they're just read, read, they just read way too high. And there's our capacitor, which I'm assuming is probably good as well. Yeah, you can see this is a uh, 0.08 is what it's supposed to be, and that we just did a Model 10 that had the capacitor replaced, and it was a 0.1, so it's not even the right capacitor. So new capacitors are getting ordered. We'll have to replace that one. But anyways, um, yeah, there's. I'm gonna go look. I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to go look up a story because I know, you know, before Marta sent this in, um, she had told me a story about this mixer for life, and I couldn't remember what it was because. I just, I, I can never find my coffee half the time, but I knew there was a story to this, so I wanted to, to share it, and, uh, you know, so I had to go back and look at it, but she was given this mixer by her, from her mom, so this was her mom's mixer, her mom bought it new, and gave it to her in 1966, and, um, or gave it to her sister in 1966, and at some point she was moving, and it fell out of a car, out of a moving vehicle, which, you know, honestly, Thing looks really good for falling out of a car, um, but it did scuff it up or whatever. You know, it, it did some damage to it. Probably just on the finish. I mean, I don't see any, you know, physical damage, road rash or whatever. So I think it got extremely lucky. But anyways, so she ended up with it. And now she wants to bring it back to uh, like it was new. Um, you know, when her mom had it and stuff. So uh, we're gonna do the best we can to make this thing look and run brand new and. I, I feel pretty confident that this thing is going to be a good runner when she's done because um, it, it's a sunbeam. I mean, they're they're tough to kill. I may have to replace a part or two, but you know what? They always seem to run. So, anyways, that's the story I want to share it with you guys, and you know, I think it's just like a really cool story. And a lot of these that are sent in have some really cool stories behind them. That's why I'm going to start. You know, relaying some of the story. If I if I have a backstory on it, you know, a little history about it, I'm gonna start relaying that to you guys, just because I think it's a really cool. Um, it's really cool to hear the stories out behind some of these machines. All right, that looks pretty clean in there. Yeah, you can see the standoffs right here that were molded into the the handle, just broke right off. Um, but I do have another handle, so. I'll be able to replace this one and give it a good handle again. Alright, so throw those standoffs out. Alright, let's get this off and take it. If you look down in there, I mean, it doesn't look as goopy as a lot of them in there, but there's some hard crust in there. And you know, it's Model 12, no. Uh, no RF filter. They did put them in the Model 12. Model 11 was the last one that they used those. You know, when I saw the pictures that she sent me of this, you know, I had I had mentioned, uh, you know, possibly keeping the original finish on it, and you know, she said she'd consider it, but you know, then she set it up and changed her mind. And once I saw it, I can understand why. I, the picture sometimes is hard to tell, uh, especially the way Facebook is now. If somebody sends me a picture, I can no longer blow it up. I'm stuck at you know, the, the, looking at the little picture, the size that it comes through on Messenger. So yeah, you can see this right here is the best place to tell your original color. I don't know if you guys can see any difference in here, but I see a world of difference. Not only is this faded, you know, but this just looks a lot brighter and shinier. And there's the the color that we're putting on it. And for some reason on the camera, I'm looking at the camera now, and, and I'm colorblind, it may have something to do with it, but this looks like like so much darker, but in person when I'm looking at it, it's, it looks only slightly darker. But honestly, out of all the powders that I've tried, 
to, to match on on these sunbeams um, that right there is the closest one I found to this color here and it does look really good when it's on there so it's it's not like it's drastically Ooh. okay look how clean that looks somebody clean this out get a little plastic tip out of here so we don't lose it oh well, it looks like part of our job has been done for us there's no grease in there at all all the grease has been taken out I mean, matter of fact all this looks nice and clean up through here somebody cleaned this out and it looks like they the only thing they they didn't do was add new grease to it okay so that's quite interesting let's get rid of this cord and finish taking apart the rear of the machine here that was quite interesting Somebody, somebody did a good job cleaning it out. Very good job. I don't know why they forgot to put the grease back in there. That's, uh, you know, always a surprise sometimes what you find when you take these things apart. I didn't expect to find a spotless gear case, so. Usually, you know, you expect to find a bunch of old, dried up, crumbly, nasty grease. So that means this machine was serviced at some point by somebody and to the extent of what that service was and I don't really know but something was definitely done to it because somebody opened that up and somebody cleaned it really well in there cleaned out all the old grease and I don't know what else they had done to it though um, I mean is it possible that the resistors changed out well I mean this could have been done back when you could still buy the parts for it so is it possible that, that was a fairly new resistor yeah, I mean, sure it is. Because if you look in here, you can see all the flour that's been sucked in here. It definitely looks like it's been used. But when you, you know, check the resistor, and it looks that good, and uh, tests good, and you see the gearbox is spotless in there. Makes you wonder. I'm curious to see the brushes now. Because this obviously has some has some miles on it. I mean, you know, you don't get flour all sucked through the machine just from sitting still. You know, and there's enough in here to suggest that this thing has, was used quite a bit. Okay, that screw don't want to cooperate. Fortunately, this one does. Stick the big dog in there. Alright, the screw's gonna snap. Something is it's not tight it's not tight in there all the way. I mean the whole screw is moving around, but it's bound up, so I think it's cross threaded. So I think it's probably gonna snap. Or I'm gonna get extremely lucky. Or not. There we go. 
think I might end up replacing the screw because I think the threads are going to be buggered when this thing comes out. It's really loose now. Oh, maybe not. Looks like just these last couple threads are a little boogery. Huh. I don't know. Can't explain that. And look, even this comes right off. Ah, this makes sure it's cooperating so well. I don't want to jinx it though. Eh, I don't feel much resistance in rotating this. Um, armature feels nice. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's a bunch of flowers inside of here, but yet the armature looks spotless. Some things are just meant to be a mystery, unless Marta gives me, uh, you know, some, you know, has some idea of when this thing was served and what was done and how long ago. I guess we, all we can do is just guess at it at this point. All right, let's get these gears out of here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, everything rotates nice. I wonder if they were just did dip up grease in here or just oil on that machine. Yeah, it does look like there's oil on these gears. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Apparently, they hired Lou Ferrigno to do the service on this and tighten everything up. This one loose. Might have its keyword. Yep, there we go. How clean that looks. Inside's full of fuzz and cobwebs, but the shaft itself looks really clean. I mean, even this part here. Somebody definitely put some effort into cleaning this thing up. Like I said, though, not a lick of grease in there. It's spotless. I don't understand that at all. Okay, this one is at an angle, and I'm never going to get my all sixteenths wrench on it. Let's see what's the best way thing to grab this with. There we go. Oh thank God I got it. Okay, that one's a little dirtier looking, but still not bad. Um, get this other gear out. If you look in there, you can see somebody did a really nice job getting rid of all the old grease in there. So, if they just got to add the new grease. I think it's simple as that. Let's see if we get these brushes out of here. 
Alright, rush looks decent. I'm sure this one does too. Okay, I know it came out. There it is. Yep, the brushes look good. It's interesting, this thing is definitely serviced. Yeah, and at some point the cord was also replaced. Because I don't believe that's factory. That could be it. I could just not be remembering. But I don't believe this is a factory connection here. Alright. Let me find uh, a longer screwdriver. There it is. I already popped those off. Okay. All right. Now, all I got to do now, I got to pull this pin, pull the fuel coil, pull this uh, detent pin and spring out, and then just disassemble the base, and uh, this thing will be ready to go. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, we'll get everything cleaned up, sandblasted, powder coated, and then we'll come back and get everything put back together, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, welcome back, we got this one here all wrapped up now, this is Marta's Model 12 in uh, seafoam green, which is, you know, a, a nice color for this, this is one of start out turquoise with the, you know, the, the finish was pretty bad on it and everything, so uh, we ended up getting it. You know, getting it all um, uh, all restored on the outside in this color. This is really close to what the original was, I believe. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, we got it. We got it all done now with you know everything. Everything completely disassembled, um, clean and polished on the inside. New grease, oiled everything up. Uh, checked the capacitor. The capacitor was good. Um, tested that with a new one against a new one, of course. But um, anyways, uh, we got this thing. Um, ready to go except for the feet. The feet, I have feet on order. They're not in yet. I was hoping they would be in today and uh, I just checked them out a little bit ago and it came in no feet. So hopefully tomorrow feet will be in here. And then we get it packed up and uh, sent on back to her um, so that she can be able to put this to use. But, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see how it sounds. <laughs> Alright, as you can tell, it sounds pretty good, um, nice smooth, we have all the speeds on it. I did let it run on low, on low for a while, uh, get good and hot, make sure that that resistor was going to hold up, and it did. So, um, I, I, I believe this one's ready to go as soon as those feet come in, and uh, look forward to her seeing this one. Um, these beaters here, you see some rust on them and stuff, these are, these are my shop beaters here. Um, they, this of course it, it didn't come in with, with the beaters for it because there's no no chance on on them getting bent during shipping or whatever so I just put these in here just to check the timing and the speed and all that but anyways uh, if you guys have any questions comments leave them down below and I will get back to those as soon as I can and uh, as always thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one